Hey guys, welcome back to another English application with Teacher Melody. You ready? Let's get started. All right, here we go. <laughs> Introduce my family. It's me. Me. He is my father. She is my mother. Father. Father. Mother. Mother. They are my parents. 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 He is my brother. She is my sister. Brother. Brother. Sister. Sister. He is my grandfather. She is my grandmother. Grandfather. Grandfather. Grandmother. Grandmother. They are my grandparents. 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 He is my uncle. Oh, he is my uncle too. Uncle. Uncle. She is my aunt. 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 She is my cousin. 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 My family. They are my family members. I love them. Review. Grandfather. Grandmother. Grandparents. Father. Mother. Parents. Uncle. Uncle. Aunt. Brother. Me. Sister. Cousin. My family.
family. Hello. Let me introduce my family. It's me. Me. He is my father. She is my mother. Father. Father. Mother. Mother. They are my parents. 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 He is my brother. She is my sister. Brother. Brother. Sister. Sister. He is my grandfather. She is my grandmother. Grandfather. Grandfather. Grandmother. Grandmother. They are my grandparents. 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 He is my uncle. Oh, he is my uncle too. Uncle. Uncle. She is my aunt. 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 She is my cousin. 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 My family. They are my family members. I love them. Review. Grandfather. Grandmother. Grandparents. Father. Mother. Parents. Uncle. Uncle. Aunt. Brother. Me. Sister. Cousin. My family. Okay, so let's talk about extended families. So your parent can be your father or your mother or your dad or your mom. Your father is male, so it's the man. Your mother is female, so that's the woman. These are the people that raised you from a baby. A parent does not have to be your blood parent to raise you. They can be married in, they can be your stepfather or your stepmother, but they're still your parent, okay? Your grandparents, that's your grandfather, your grandpa, who is the man, or your grandma, or your grandmother, that is the female. And these are your parents' parents. In the video, they also said great grandparents, which are your grandparents' parents. Aunt is your mother or father's sister or sister-in-law, which we'll talk about. Uncle is your mother or father's brother or brother-in-law. So to you, their brother-in-law, your dad's brother-in-law is your uncle. Your mom's sister-in-law is your aunt. Cousin, the child of your aunt or uncle. Niece, your brother or sister's daughter, so the female. And this can be your brother-in-law, your stepbrother, your half-brother, your sister-in-law, your stepsister, your half-sister. Your nephew is the male son, so it's the male child, the son of your brother or sister. Sister-in-law, half-sister, stepsister, 
Same with your brother. Okay. So in-law, in-law can be your mother-in-law, your father-in-law, your sister-in-law, your brother-in-law. And these are just related by marriage, okay? So someone has married your brother. So your brother marries someone. Now this is your sister-in-law or your brother-in-law, okay? And then same if your father, so a sibling is any brother or sister. They can be an in-law, they can be step, or they can be half. Generally, we call them your brother-in-law and not your sibling, but your step and your half are still siblings. That means your brother or sister somehow, some way. Step-brother or step-sister means your parents married but you are not blood related, okay? Half brother or sister means your mother married their father and one of your parents is the same. So you have the same mother, but a different father, or you have the same father and a different mother, okay? So one of your parents is the same. So maybe your mom and dad had you and then your mom married someone else and your mom had a child with them. So they're your half brother, they're half blood with you, okay? And you can also have older and younger siblings. So older brother, older sister, younger brother, younger sister, and older and elder are the same, okay? Older brother, elder brother, older sister, elder sister. And then there's younger brother or younger sister, okay? As you already know, you have your parents and siblings, but there are more. Let's learn all about what is an extended family and who is in it. So today, we will learn about our extended family. As we all know, our parents are the core of the family. Parents, mother and father. And then we have our siblings, brothers and sisters. There are elder brothers and younger brothers, and elder sisters and younger sisters. This is what most of you already know. Now, let's come to the part where we learn new members. First, repeat after me, and then we'll learn the relationship of each person inside the family. Grandparents, grandparents, grandmother, Grandmother, grandfather, grandfather, grandchildren, grandchildren, grandson, 
grandson, granddaughter, granddaughter, great grandparents, great grandparents, great grandmother, great grandmother, great grandfather, great grandfather, uncle, uncle, aunt, aunt, cousin. Cousin, niece, niece, nephew, nephew. So now you learn the names of all the extended family members. Let's see their relationship. Grandparents. Grandmother is the mother of your mother, father. Grandfather is the father of your mother, father. Grandchildren. Grandson is the son of your kid. Granddaughter is the daughter of your kid. Great grandparents. Great grandmother is the mother of your grandmother, grandfather. Great grandfather is the father of your grandmother, grandfather. Uncle is the brother of your mother, father. Aunt is the sister of your mother, father. Cousin is the son, daughter of your uncle, aunt. Niece is the daughter of your brother, sister. Nephew is the son of your brother, sister. Don't forget to memorize. to in a word are used to describe something that happened in the past but doesn't happen any longer. I used to have long hair. When I was a child, I would jump the rope. We didn't used to wear uniforms. Did you used to walk to school? They're interchangeable when referring to past actions. We would ride our scooters every day. Or we used to ride our scooters every day. What is not used to talk about past days? I used to be very shy. Correct. I would be very shy. Incorrect. Thanks for watching. Grandma, what did you look like when you were a little girl? I was blonde. And I used to have long hair, just like you. And what were you like? I used to be playful and talkative. What about you, Grandpa? I used to be very shy. Whenever a stranger came to our house, I would hide in a closet. <laughs> Did you used to have lots of fun when you were kids? When I was a child, I used to play hide and seek with my brother and my sister. It was my favorite game. I would also jump the rope with my friends and we would often play moms and dads as kids. We played outdoors a lot. We also liked playing hopscotch. We used to draw the squares on the ground with chalk. Kids still play these games. That's unbelievable. What about you, Grandpa? My brother and I would spend the day walking around the neighborhood, visiting other kids on the block and playing games. We used to have wooden scooters and we would ride them every day. Sometimes we would make paper planes. 
I have a scooter too, and I can also make paper planes. That's great. Did you have any fairy tale books? Yes. Sometimes my mother would read us some tales before going to sleep, but we didn't have too many books. Did you like any sport when you were kids? I used to take ballet classes because I wanted to be a ballerina. I used to play baseball. I was good at it and used to be selected as the number one player. I was popular among my peers. Yay! What was school like when you were kids? I really want to know. Well, students used to respect their teachers very much. We would always obey them. I can remember Mrs. Elizabeth, my third grade teacher, very well. When we arrived each morning, she would sit at her desk. She would always smile and say hello to each student as they entered. When the bell rang, she would stand up and clear her throat. <clears throat> that meant we were supposed to be quiet so that the class could start. Teachers were usually very strict. If the children were naughty, they had to stand in the corner. Our teacher would even hit our palms with the ruler. That must have hurt quite a lot. Yes, it did. Did you wear uniforms? No, we didn't used to wear uniforms. We used to wear our everyday clothes to school. Was there a cafeteria in your school? No, the schools did not used to offer lunch to students. Every student would carry their own food and water from home. But I bet you didn't have homework when you were in school, did you? Students used to have homework back then, too. Really? Wow. Did you used to walk to school? Yes, I used to walk to school with my siblings because we lived close to the school. My school was not close to my home, so I would go by bus. Did you used to have a smartphone or a computer? No, of course not. There were no smartphones or computers back then. Really? Then how did you use to contact your friends and relatives? We used to go to a phone booth with lots of coins. Or we would write letters. But it would take days before they were delivered. Life seems hard without technology. We used to have a record player. We would listen to our favorite songs. What about TV? We had a black and white TV. I remember we would sit in front of the TV in the evenings watching movies. What did you use to eat when you were kids? During summertime, we would eat lots of fresh vegetables and fruits, as well as milk and cheese. During wintertime, we would eat potatoes, beans, canned fruits and pickles, rice and oats, meat and eggs. I know there were no supermarkets then. Where did you use to buy your food? There used to be small grocery stores in town where you could buy food. Was there ice cream when you were kids? What about cola? Yes, there used to be ice cream and soda counters in the stores. Your childhood was really beautiful and interesting. Yes, I miss my childhood so much. We used to be so happy. Used to in a word, I used to describe something that happened in the past, but doesn't happen any longer. 
I used to have long hair. When I was a child, I would jump the rope. We didn't used to wear uniforms. Did you used to walk to school? They're interchangeable when referring to best actions. We would ride our scooters every day. Or... We used to ride our scooters every day. What is not used to talk about past days? I used to be very shy. Correct. I would be very shy. Incorrect. Thanks for watching. Okay, guys, that's all for today. I will see you next class. Bye.